Welcome to today's webinar, Speaking Skill, Study of the Best Practices on Best Practices and Strategies to Promote Speaking. My name is Pedro Escalante. I am Ben Diesel's treasurer. Today, I will be serving as your moderator. You'll be hearing a presentation from Juan Espinosa de Gestas on this very timely subject. Before we get started, I would like to go over a few items so you know how to participate in today's event. You'll have the opportunity to submit text questions to today's presenter by typing your questions into the chat on YouTube. You may send in your questions at any time during the presentation. You will, uh, we will collect these and address them at the end of the presentation. Uh, moreover, a certificate of attendance will be mailed in PDF format upon successful completion of this webinar. In order to earn the certification, you will be emailed by Ben Tiesel, and you will have to reply to this email answering the following questions. The first question, what's speaking? Uh, the second question, you have to complete the, the information. Uh, we have here the terms, structure, system, methods, techniques, procedures, and processes defined, uh, and then you have to complete the information. And the third one, you have to choose yes or no. The result of the study demonstrate that all the strategies were effective in a 100%, right? Um, also, I would like to clarify something that even though Venezuela is facing some problems, Ben Tiesel, the Central America and the Caribbean Basin Tiesel affiliates, keep working and helping ESL teachers. Um, well, on behalf of the Central America and the Caribbean Basin Diesel affiliates and Ben Diesel, thank you for joining us today. The countries that are part of these, uh, we have here the part of these affiliates are Belize, right? We uh, have Belize, uh, Colombia, Costa Rica, Cuba, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, Nicaragua, Panama. Peru, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and Venezuela. Uh, there are some uh, upcoming events. So we have here Diesel Colombia 2019, going beyond theory, rejuvenating literacies. Uh, so you have the date from May 16th to May 18th. Uh, the venue, Universidad de la Sabana, Chile, close to Bogota. All right, um, then, uh, we have here Health uh, Honduras, right? The date is from June 28th to June 29th uh, this year. Uh, the venue, Instituto Bautista, El Buen Samaritano, San Marcos de Colón. Okay, so you have here the information, all right? So maybe you can go through the web pages on the um, social media so you can have more information about uh, this event. And also, we have here at Pictizel Costa Rica, uh, we have the convention 2019, competence and teaching practices for effective performance. So we have the date from July 3rd to July 5th. Uh, this year, the venue is in San Jose, right? Um, well, let me introduce you here. We have here, I would like to introduce our presenter, Juan Espinosa de Allestas. Juan Espinosa de Allestas has a graduate degree in diesel from the National Pedagogical University. She has been an ESL professor since 2009 and is a US Embassy accredited, uh, accredited teacher trainer since uh, 2008, as well as a certified trainer of trainers since 2010. Presenter at diesel uh, 2011 and 2014, Mexico. 2010, Costa Rica, Panama, and Peru. She has delivered several presentations at Health at Diesel, annual conferences, and webinars through EFL Talks. She's currently an ESL professor at Samorano University, working on the development of communication at the beginner and intermediate levels. levels. Uh, she's, a uh, she's a present Health at Diesel treasurer and has volunteered in, uh, is in as regional academic coordinator during the last four years. Uh, the extra of this presentation, you have it here the presentation, speaking skills, a study on best practices and strategies to promote speaking. 
So interested in learning how to instill confidence in your beginners learners when it comes to speaking, then this webinar is for you. Through this webinar, you, be, uh, you will learn best practices to use in the classroom to promote speaking skills through a variety of techniques and strategies that have been successful in the beginner classroom in a Latin American context. Now, moving along to our webinar, please welcome Juan Espinosa de Gesta, who will be speaking to us on speaking skills. Good morning. Uh, good yeah. morning. Yeah, yeah, can I start from Okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, good morning, everybody. Thank you for inviting me to this important activity. Greetings to my colleagues from my alma mater here in Honduras and for all of you around the world. Thank you for joining to this activity. As Pedro said, my name is Juana de Ayestas. I am a teacher. I work in Zamorano University in Honduras. I know that we have a lot in common, and I also know that you have heard about this topic. But in this opportunity, I just want to share with you a little bit what I did with my action research regarding speaking skills. Okay. Here, we are going to start with the speaking skills as I study on best practices and strategies to promote speaking at all levels. I want, I want to tell you what, why I was doing this. At the beginning, I wanted to uh, work in, on a project related to speaking skills based on the premise that for some students, it is a little bit more difficult to express their ideas. They are also almost saying that they are able to read, write, and understand in English, but they can't speak because they start translating before to communicate. So that is why I conducted an action research, applying some strategies to enhance speaking skills. And to conduct this action research, I had to ask for permission to the authorities in my university and also ask the students if they wanted to participate as volunteers. All the collected data was confidential since it was for a professional purpose. And uh, we're going to start right now with a question. Tell me, for you guys, what is speaking? Please share your thoughts in the chat box. And I am going to give you one minute or maybe less. All right, so we have here some answers like expressing ourselves in order to be understood. Also, Helen Gomez, a way of communication. We have here voice center, sharing ideas. Okay, uh, we have here the, the first one was ALZ, ALZ, expressing ourselves in order to be understood. Right. Okay, great. Now, 
Uh, well, I have another one, I don't know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, interaction between the teacher and the students where there will be more students talking, uh, you say talk, talking time and less teacher talking to them, all right? Uh, the process to communicate your ideas by making sounds with your mouth. Good, excellent, thank you. Now, according to Oxford Dictionary, speaking is the action of conveying information or expressing one's feelings in speech. As you can read, speaking is linked to oral communication, that means togetherness, joining, cooperation, and mutuality. For me, this is a dynamic process, and more than that, it is a competence or ability. Because uh, it means that it's more complicated, it seems at first, and involves more than just words pronunciation, okay? Speaking has to do with the grammar, social, con social context, discourse, strategic, and critical thinking. So, let's continue. Now, tell me. I want you to tell me which picture represents an activity and which one a strategy. Please share in the chat box. All right, so we have here a picture left is a, on the left is an activity. So we have here. Only that? Uh, yeah, we're waiting for more. Uh, OK, OK. All right. For more answers. Uh, yeah, there's here some people, I mean, there are some people who said that uh, the, the picture on the, on the right is a group activity. And other people said that the picture on the left uh, is a group activity. And there are people who said that uh, the first picture uh, is, uh, is an a strategy. strategy. Mm -hmm. And also we have here like, uh, we have on the picture on the right, is brainstorming and is communicative. Right. All right. Okay. Let's move on. Strategy. Strategy refers to a structure, system, method, techniques, procedures, and processes that a teacher uses during instruction. While an activity refers to a teacher guided instructional task or assignments for students. In other words, strategy is oriented to reach a goal. And it's going to be easier when it is used into a real context where the students uh, have the opportunity to interact with an authentic communication. And what is the role of activities here? Activities help to achieve the strategy. And now tell me, why do we need speaking when learning a second or foreign language? I found two reasons for communication and for specific purposes. But I would like to know to, from my colleagues, what is uh, the experience regarding this topic? I would like to hear more about you uh, in terms of the necessity to speak when, le when learning or a second or a foreign language. I am going to give you time to share with me in a chat box.
So we have here, uh, my students tend to be shy. So I always look for topics they like so we can share. Mm -hmm. uh, need native speakers, right? Uh huh. All right. Yeah, there are more answers. Uh, working with large groups is always a challenge, especially if they are beginners. Uh, also, learning another language. Okay. Okay. As right. I told, you, as I told you before, uh, I found that for communication, we can find academic English uh, as part of a learning program to prepare students for a higher level English proficiency, and also to help them to succeed in applying for another educational program like a master degree or for a job. The other one is formal in context. And formal in context is what you, you teachers do with your students when you ask them to communicate in English in the classroom or through the assignments, writing essays or recording and speaking portfolio or uh, writing a journal, or maybe having a discussion online, you're going to have, you're using formal in context. And in formal in context, uh, 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 as you know, is when your students use English uh, to talk with the classmates, friends, relatives, and through social medias. On the other hand, we have the for spe English for specific purposes and uh, learning for learning uh, new technical terms uh, regarding a specific discipline, also uh, to understand technical articles and for using jargon according to the study discipline. But uh, I am going to talk a little bit about the process of this action research and how was the process. At first, it was necessary to take into consideration what, what, uh, for what, to whom, and how. So uh, it was essential to choose the technique that the teaching strategies oriented to the purpose of the research. And as you can see through the process, uh, also we were looking to promote collaboration, to foster cohesion among the students and between students and teacher and also uh, teacher and students. Uh, in the same way to enhance communication skills through some strategies and activities and uh, to create a motivating learning environment to lower the affective filter, avoiding the routine and giving the students uh, the opportunity to construct their own knowledge or their own learning to put into practice their, this that is new for them in a real context. So uh, that was regarding the process. And I am going to continue working. As you can see, uh, the process had to do with uh, Bloom Taxonomy as, as well, because through the process, we had to remember, understand, apply, analyze, evaluate, and create at the end to produce uh, the new language or the, the, the things that we want, for example, in this case, to promote speaking or to enhance speaking or to enhance uh, speaking development. But what about the methodology? The methodology was under an action research through a possibilist approach. A possibilist approach is the most traditional way of doing action research and the intention was to, was to bring a group of teachers to collaborate and promote speaking at different levels in an academic setting and to create a set of strategies that uh, would enhance communication. The actual research focuses on collaboration of different stakeholders and uh, common purpose because in the goal was to improve speaking skills and also it was for specific to a context because the students involved had the same goal of learning second language through their academic program. For example, in my classes in Zamorano. And at the end, to improve teaching practice through investigation and learning from students. 
For example, for me, it, it is an excellent and a great experience to work under this project because I learned a lot from my students and from the, the, the literature and the things, the, the ways that we, the new ways to teach and enhance students or motivate students to develop or to produce as English as a second language. And uh, after the methodology, I want to talk a little bit uh, or introduce my students, for example, Zamorano is an agricultural university with students from 21 Latin American countries, mostly from rural areas, and the 66% of the students are men and the 34% of them are women. As you can see in the picture, we have students from Dominican Republic, El Salvador, Ecuador, Bolivia, Guatemala, Colombia, uh, Venezuela. Uh, we have students from United States. Uh, we have students from Canada. And uh, the majority of them have a partial scholarship. Another important thing in Zamorano is that students live in Zamorano. They live in a dorm and they work half of the day that is called uh, learning by doing because they put it into practice what they learn in the during the, in the theoretical uh, practice and the other half they study and they have to be in the classroom one week in the morning in the classroom in the morning in the afternoon they have to go to learning by doing to the different modules that are related with their academic program and teachers in Zamorano come from different countries as well. We have teachers from uh, El Salvador, New Zealand, Ecuador, Colombia, uh, Dominican Republic, uh, and others. This is the this this is the group of students that were part of the research, and they were in this time they were trying to have a discussion through uh, the Blackboard. About the diagnostic tools, we were applying questionnaires through images. With this, uh, these questionnaires were placed at the beginning and at the end of each period because uh, students were changing from the, the from strategy, and strategy and strategy and the activity that the technique was to let them to describe the, ima the image and give an opinion, uh, find new vocabulary through the images. Also, we had interviews that was at the middle of the process where they had the opportunity to read short tests and answer some questions. And at the end, we had the focus groups and observation to know about the motivation and the attitude to the, of the students towards the, the investigation. And to make some accommodations also, focus groups at the end of each period, because uh, it was necessary to make some changes, maybe with the strategy or uh, trying to, to, to do something different to let them to produce the second language. Okay, as I told you, it was three academic periods and with the, the strategies that were applied were direct and indirect strategies. And in this, uh, uh, I would like to know from my audience which of these strategies they are uh, practiced the most, for example, and which of these are better for them I would like to I, I would like to hear from them about this because this this was the heart of the uh, action research of the investigation. Uh, so we have here teamwork. Okay. Teamwork, okay. Excellent. All right. Uh, okay. Give me some second one. 
Give me one second. Uh, using keywords. So you have it here. Using keywords is the other one, right? Uh huh. Asking questions. Discussion. Uh -huh. Discussion, yes. Speak, uh, speaking from reading, speaking from reading, okay. Uh huh, speaking from reading. No taking. Technology. Technology, yeah. Brainstorming, interview, role play. Great. Yeah. Okay, well, okay. Uh -huh. okay, as you can see, direct strategies has to do with speaking from reading. In my case, the student had the opportunity to change opinions and ideas from a text, and using keywords was another one that was used during the first period. The first period were used speaking from reading as and using keywords as a direct direct strategy and asking questions and teamwork as indirect. And the other, the, the second period, they were under uh, the strategy of analyzing and reasoning and the note-taking template and using the discourse markers for speaking and writing and the discussion. In the third period, they were involved in an interview take a strategy reading and reading for academic discussion with the indirect strategy that was technology and research project. Using the keyword, the students use keywords especially when presenting orally about different topics and uh, analyzing and reasoning. This strategy helped students to make uh, a connection between the information and a real life scenario. This was uh, regarding that. And the note-taking template was used with uh, through the, I, 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 it, it was for the second period, but after the second period, they were using the note-taking template, filling out them with the information from oral presentation, from readings, from discussion to, a build vocabulary to create, uh, to develop critical thinking skills also. And this was very important for me, the interview, because uh, it was part of a research project to find specific information from an expert of the topic. For example, the students just, uh, uh, they were working on their, uh, uh, a topic that they felt they felt or they found that was relevant for them to know more information about that and they did it they they conducted an investigation at the beginning to find general information and at the end with the interview to get specific information from an expert for example students that were interested in uh, know more about cattle they were talking with uh, the teacher who was teaching uh, this, uh, who, who was teaching or have the, the, ex the expertise in this topic. And uh, reading for academic, uh, for reading uh, acad in academic discussion, uh, they were reading some art articles related to the global issues for discussion. And in this, they were talking with students that they were their classmates, and after they were presenting with another groups in Samorano, showing what they were reading and this, having a discussion. Uh, another important strategy for me, all of them were very important for me, but for example, asking questions gave me the opportunity to see if the students were in the same mood that I wanted to have to in the same level of using, for example, through asking questions, they were uh, answering using the discourse markers, for example, through, techno through the discussion also, in through the technology, they were uh, uploading some documents and they were using another platforms. 
that we have in Zamorano and another platform that is external. And they were increasing or enhancing also their knowledge through technology and the research project. Uh, the research project was like uh, the last part to evaluate because they had the opportunity to, to go out from Zamorano to another university and present what they were doing regarding uh, agricultural issues and uh, innovation. Here we have some pictures that I want to share with you regarding the strategies. The first one, for example, is uh, speaking from reading. Students were reading, giving opinions, paraphrasing the information. And the other one is a sample of a note-taking template. They had the opportunity to write the main ideas, the new vocabulary with definitions, and to develop critical thinking in some of them stating uh, like a solution to a problem or uh, making a connection as I told you before with a real life uh, scenario. In these ones, we have the first one is regarding related, sorry, to the research project. Here we have a group of students uh, that they are presenting, for example, in this case, it was a mandala to talk about an innovation in this field, in the agricultural uh, issues. The other one uh, and the two, the other two are pictures that where students are practicing English, but out of the, the classroom and talking about uh, common things. And now I, I want to talk about the results. After the data collection and everything that we were analyzing, uh, I found that the 75% of the students felt more comfortable learning through speaking for reading and using keywords when doing oral presentation and filling out the note-taking template for further discussions to develop their critical thinking skills. And on the other side, we have the least effective, but uh, that we can use, that it works. And I found that for some students, it was difficult to work in groups out of the classroom, as well as to use the technological tools. The thing is that in Zamorano, we, they have a lot of things to do. They have uh, their classes, they have extracurricular groups, they have uh, uh, the disciplinary system, and they're not able to study after 10 p.m., for example, or to do another thing. And they, sometimes they are tired and they think that, they say that no, I couldn't connect to the uh, internet access or but it is because the population, I, 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 I understand that uh, the, the uh, internet access can fail because everybody is connected at one at that time. And uh, maybe this is a difficulty for them to use this. But uh, in general, they were working, they were feeling uh, good through the strategy, under the strategy, working under the strategies, and they were improving their speaking skills. As a conclusion, as a conclusion, I can say that uh, all the strategy, strategy were working. Some, they were more effective than others, uh, that uh, the students, working on the, the each strategy had the opportunity to to experience different things and different style of presenting or speaking the students demonstrate a good attitude towards the strategy implementation because they were asking me for example in a feedback session uh, that they like it for example, to to use the new vocabulary in some in some uh, activities, 
or writing or giving opinions. Also, applying a variety of strategies uh, let the students to develop or to create the, or to construct their own learning, considering the learning styles and the different uh, intelligences. The strategies and activities were sent uh, a student-centered learning process because I just was um, modeling or facilitating the process and they were doing everything. And uh, the most important, but important, no, uh, the most important for me because it was what I wanted to prove and that was that students uh, showed an improvement in speaking skill proficiency. Uh, I have to say that I am very satisfied with these results because it was a, a good experience for me. The students started to have taken the investigation to another stage, for example, and uh, it made me, uh, it made my investigation easier. Developing this investigation gave me the opportunity to go as a professional because uh, it increased my motivation to continue investigating, for example. And now uh, this year, I'm thinking, I'm working, I'm preparing another actual research with uh, some students, and it's going to be high, the actual research is going to be about uh, how the students can improve. It is going to be only for low beginners, and uh, we're going to we're think we are thinking to develop a national research with, through grammar, and uh, at this time I'm working on that. And uh, I have to say that I learned from my students, and I enjoyed the process. And now I'm the only thing that I think uh, was a little bit. Um, not too positive for me was that uh, I wanted to have more groups involved in this uh, action research, but I think that my colleagues are going to do it maybe this year or next one. And to finish with this, I want to tell you that teaching is not simple, but the rewards are truly amazing. And thank you for your attention. Thank you for being there on the other side. And I hope you enjoyed my presentation. If you have some questions, I'm here for you. OK, thank you very much, Professor Ayestas. Um, for the rest, my name is Mary Allegra. I am Venezuela TESOL president. I am serving as a moderator today and um uh it was a great presentation professor very interesting the results of this study um on uh, on speaking skills and um we have several um questions here from our audience uh, one of the questions we have is what kind of strategy may i use to check that a speaking group activity is doing well by improving the student skills? Okay, uh, it, it is an interesting question and I'm thinking about it because straight strategy may I use to check that a speaking group's activities doing well by improving. Yeah, I think that one is the use of note taking template in which you, the teacher can check that they were working also, uh, with uh, another strategy is like um, a, an expert table, for example, where students from each group are going to be sharing with another group what they are doing and they are, they're gonna be speaking and they're going to be working together. Uh, I don't know if some, uh, someone else in the, from the audience have another answer. It's good if they can write it or uh, share. And the, and the other thing is that uh, another strategy is to let them to uh, share 
with you as in a conference, for example, you can create a mini conference and students are going to be presenting or saying or sharing what they were doing in a group. Okay, great. Um, there is a comment here. Someone said stronger students can help weaker students in speaking activities. The idea is to adapt the best technique for learners to improve the speaking activity, make the best effort. Uh -huh. it, that's, it, it's an excellent comment because I have the opportunity with, and I, I agree with this. The only thing that I could not notice with my group is that for these stronger students that my colleague is, uh, is telling, sometimes these students, they prefer to do everything instead of to be helping the other ones. For example, when I, my students are preparing in the oral presentation, I, I, I tell them that the, the lower score is going to be for the rest of you. Just for let them or to create awareness that all of them have to practice and practice their representation and that uh, the stronger as uh, they say, she or he said, uh, have to, has to coordinate the group and has to help the weak, the weakness or the weak student. Okay, very good, thank you. There is here another interesting um, question that is, do having a multicultural classroom makes a difference when teaching students how to speak? I think that uh, for me, I have a multicultural, multicultural classroom and the difference is that teachers have to work more. Preparing strategies were uh, for all levels, for example. And considering that in another country or another culture is uh, something different, uh, we, for example, one word could be different in another, in another culture, but it's going to be the same in, in English, for example. And if it, for me, it's very positive to have these multicultural classrooms because students have the opportunity to learn from each other and also um, they, they all of them have the opportunity to be under all the strategies. Okay, great. There is here another, another question and um, um, our attendee says, how could I motivate my students, I suppose, for speaking? Um, he teaches or she teaches Arab students. <laughs> Good question. Um, for me, it is a kind of first, they, feel, they have to feel comfortable or confident with the teachers, the first one. And teachers have to be motivated to motivate the students, okay? And I think the first step is to show them that you are the teacher, that you are going to be able to help them, but also that you want to learn from them. And let them to talk at the beginning, for example, about their, their common things, their common topics like uh, traditions, food, and we can go up through the process and give and letting them to do everything, okay? And giving positive feedback, for example, okay? Um, is the, the, the thing that I can say right now, if I have uh, another, another uh, answer, I am going to write, okay? Okay, so good. Uh, here we have another question, and that is great. It says, is there any app you could recommend to help our students improve their speaking skills? Ah, okay, excellent. Uh, I don't know, but... Uh, I like to use, for example, the YouTube channel. In the, through the YouTube channel, they have the opportunity to record their, their presentation or the speech. And the, the important thing here is that they have the opportunity to uh, record, check, re, uh, record again, recheck again, and until the, uh, the final, uh, the final presentation, they can upload the, the presentation to the channel and they can, they can um, hear from the other classmates too through this voice thread 
And uh, it, it is something that I'm using in Zamorano. In the past, I was using box of pop that it was the same, but because they, they, the thing is that they have the opportunity to practice and practice and practice, practice until the end when they feel that they are ready to show what they, they are doing. One, the other one is, uh, what is the other one? The other one is IXL, for example. It's another one that is presenting vocabulary, grammar, reading, and also they have they have a, a one one uh, component that is for speaking. Okay, so good. Here we have another question, and it is: Could I use the strategies that you mentioned with teenager students? Oh yes, of course. Uh, this is the this is the sample that I was working with uh, through under uh, in this uh, action research my, all my students are teenagers all my students are teenagers and uh, I think it's um, my experience was amazing with them and uh, also they were giving me some points that make me to change or make some adjustments or accommodations to the strategies process or procedures to go to uh, to have the final results Okay, great. So your answer is uh, related to your to your study, and that is good. Excellent. Um, we have another question here. It says, "Can you explain any of the activities which was more effective in your study?" Okay, it one as I, as I presented, it was uh, speaking from reading was one of the most. Uh, uh, accepted by the students because they were, I found that they were learning through the reading new things. For example, what I used was real topics, okay? Realistic information, authentic information, and they had the opportunity to learn, to read, uh, to share and say, oh, this was new for me, and at the moment that they are trying to say that they were learning, they didn't notice that they were speaking at the same time because they were presenting emotion for the topic and trying to say what they wanted to, to share with the classmate, for example. The other one was the note-taking template because they told me that uh, through the note-taking template, they had the opportunity to prepare, for example, in order presentation with the information that they have and another thing that is important, and I forgot to mention, was that uh, through the note-taking template, they had the opportunity to uh, get the idea or information from the, the classmates, but they had the opportunity to look for extra information to have more uh, to say at the moment to your chair in a discussion or through another presentation or simple just when they have the opportunity to share because I, I I used to give them time to five minutes okay now you're going to get a partner talk with them about the topic and they have the opportunity to share and and I found that all the information is totally different among the students okay so good here we have a comment someone is thanking you for your clear answers <laughs> You, you will see later who it, who he or she was because I mean the the, the webinar is going to be um, online later okay so everybody can see um, it. so okay. we have we have another comment uh, the comment says I think one way to motivate the learners is to change the place maybe to go to the gym park zoo museum I am completely complete uh, I agree with this. Be, the only thing is that my university is out of the city, it's in a rural area, and the only opportunity that I have to do something out of the classroom is uh, letting them to have the interview with the experts in another uh, department, mm -hmm. for example, or walking through the campus to, to see the nature, to find information, but it is very, very difficult for me to take the students to these places because it's far from the city. But it is an excellent uh, uh, opinion, 
point of view. And I think that it's going, I can use it when I had the opportunity to work here in Tegucigalpa, for example. Okay. okay, great. Here we have a final question, Professor. Um, it says, can you tell me a technique for a younger and older learner to understand a reading story? Ah, okay. In this case, uh, one that is that work very well for me is to let them to read, to use the dictionary, to understand the reading or the way that they can understand. And after that, to draw the story, to draw what they understood and uh, develop a gallery presentation, for example, with the drawings. And they have the opportunity to say, to, to use keywords, to talk about the topic and to develop speaking as well, okay? That is the, the thing that we are trying to do. And at the, they are doing a lot of things. At the same time, they are preparing their speech. Okay, thank you very much, Professor. Um, would you like to have some final words for your audience? Yes, just to say thank you for being there. Thank you for inviting me, me, invite me to this important activity and say that it was a learning for me and to do this webinar was a learning too because I can see, I can notice that uh, it's not the same to be in the classroom and to be through the technological tools. <laughs> and uh, I enjoyed it. I feel very well. And I really appreciate this opportunity. Believe me, today was a new learning for me. And thank you, thank you. I, 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 I don't know if in the presentation, the, the introduction that you made or read uh, is my um, email. Please feel free to contact me, to write me. And if I can help you uh, with uh, something else, you just tell me. I'm here okay. just to help you. Thank you, Professor. Could you please remind us your 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 email address so um, our audience take note of that? Okay, my my it is uh, J E mm -hmm. Ayestas. Mm -hmm. The at at uh, yes and at gmail dot com. Okay. It's a Gmail account then. Yes, it's a Gmail account. Okay, great. So I think, um, well, we, we thank you a lot, Professor. It was a great presentation, very interesting. It was a study called Speaking Skills, a study on best practices and strategies to promote speaking. It was an honor for Van Tiesel to have you here. And um, thank you for your knowledge, for sharing it with all the community. And I think it's time to remind the audience the questions uh, in order to be, um, in order to receive a certificate of attendance uh, for this uh, webinar, and we have three questions from which you at least need to answer two in a correct way. And the three questions are: number one, what is speaking? And we have three options: the action to communicate ideas through writing; b, the action to communicate ideas through a speech; c the action of communicate ideas through reading. Question number two, the terms, structure, system, methods, techniques, procedures, and processes define a, a, activity, b, a strategy. And question number three is, the results of the study demonstrate that all the strategies were effective in 100%, yes or no, those questions will be sent to uh, all who registered for this webinar, okay? And it's very important, I would like to remind you also, please, uh, you need to write your name in a proper way, you need to write your email in a proper way, otherwise, I mean, you won't receive the questionnaire for this webinar. Sometimes we have troubles and people don't write the, a, good, and a good email and it's difficult to get the, the questionnaire because of that. Um, the questionnaire will be sent uh, today later. Um, what else? Um, we would like to remind you of the events that we have um, um, here in the region, in Central American and the Caribbean region. 
and um, I'm going to share my um, yeah my screen so you see uh, which those events are just to remind you we have TESOL Colombia 2019 going beyond theory and uh, it will be on in in May on May 16th to the 18th um, where at the University of La Gran Sabana Chia close to Bogota and um, okay then we also have uh, Held to Honduras uh, TESOL fifth annual convention on June the 28th to the 29th where at the Instituto Bautista El Buen Samaritano San Marcos de Colón Choluteca and finally we have um, um, ACPI TESOL Costa Rica Convention 2019 competences and teaching practices for effective performance on July the 3rd to the 5th uh, 2019 in San Jose of Costa Rica and uh, well we would like to uh, thank everybody for attending this webinar we would like to tell you that it, it will be available for everybody not only for those who registered for today webinar live but um, for everybody who would like to see it afterwards um, on behalf of Ventiso and um, the Caribbean, uh, the Central American and the Caribbean affiliates, diesel affiliates, we would like to thank you and uh, we invite you for next time, next webinar is in next month in March, you will have news about us. Thank you for attending and um, let's keep resilience, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you, Mary. Thank you to all your staff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I would like I would like to thank you before we finish. We would I would like to thank you, Pedro Escalante, our moderator. I would like to thank you, uh, Nurhai Jerez, who was on YouTube, also moderating from YouTube. I would like to thank Jesus Sosa. He is uh, the coordinator of all of us and uh, for for helping today. This is Ben Tiesel, a media team helping today in this webinar. Thank you very much to everybody. Have thank a very you. nice Sunday. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your Sunday, please. Thank you.